All right, y'all, welcome back. Unavowed. We're in the creepy red room. We got a creepy cat licking my knuckles. We're looking for the banana ghost. We are in the dream world. We tied it through the... Let's, is there anything in these drawers? We, uh... Tied a red ribbon to the banana tree. Come on, fish, get out of here. No, no more. I am tired. You will not let me rest. And now you want more? Well, I refuse. That is my right. There's the dragon. Talk? What good is talk, human? You humans drag me from my slumber. Force me to grant a boon. Again and again. And now, you won't let me sleep. You strand me in this dead world. Uh, I'm not entirely human if that helps. Can you not feel it? This is a place of dead things. Halfway between your world and mine. It hurts. I don't want to stay here. Please, send me back. You look human. You smell human. I imagine you. Taste human as well. So what manner of creature are you, if not human? I am Melchorus. I am familiar with the name, but unless your knowledge can free me from this place, then you are of no use to me. Yeah, I don't think I know that. Numbers. Always numbers. Numbers that turn into gold. Be nice with us. Back when you received your prize. That is the arrangement. Send me back. Please! Kevin Huang. Where is Kevin Huang? He called me here. He is the only one who can send me back. He should have fulfilled his duty months ago. Where is he? Prison? <laughs> he cannot escape his duty so easily. He will return. He will release me! He will not be free of nightmares until he does. Fish, go lay down. So you know what giving Kevin nightmares? It's sort of my fault Kevin's in prison. Kevin can't come here, what can we do? He left me here. Left me to suffer this this and go sense. mad. It is only fitting that he share the burden. And that matters. Why? Kevin is the only one who can send me back. He is the only one that matters. If Kevin can't I am come going here. insane here. I am surrounded by dead things. I have not eaten in months. Just how hungry are you? Hungry enough that I am considering raw human. There's nothing are you enough. Kevin Huang? Then no. Be my guest. Oh, you cannot open the door. You are in the land of the dead. You cannot interact with the physical world. But it seems, perhaps, the physical world can interact with you. To me. What's, what's How going on much there? do you weigh, anyway? Enough, I think. Enough to tide me over. Have your own Kevin is here. lost to me, and I have no reason to trust you or any human. And I am so, she so hungry. Was awesome! I totally saved you. That's fucking KK. That's fucking KK. You're kidding, right? I'm KK. Duh. I've been following you guys around for like a week. Nice. Yep. Hi. You're in a land of dead things, kinda. You're sort of between. 
not the land of the dead, but not the physical world either. That means you can see ghosts and spirits, like me. Nice. After wow, you I fell was... asleep, ghosts started appearing everywhere. They went nuts, went diced and everything. Tables started shaking, knives started flying. It was kind of cool. But Logan and me went to work. We got him calmed down, finally. Still, whatever is going on here, the ghosts don't like it. All right, where's Logan now? He's out in the hallway. The door locked itself while you were sleeping. It's stuck solid. Even Mandana's sword won't open it. Wow. So, I got to rescue you. All right. I don't there. know. Find a way back to the living world, I guess. You're alive, so you don't belong here. Not yet, anyway. Back? To the land of the living? Yeah, she knew. I don't know. I'm not sure there is a way back. At least, there isn't a way back for me. Maybe it's different for you. Right, okay. Try to figure this out. Can we just go to sleep? I don't think going back to bed is gonna fix things. Huh. Weird. Looks like you can't touch the door. Must be a living person in the land of the dead thing. You got the worst of both worlds. Well, you have me at least. I pulled you through one door, I can pull you through another. Alright, so we just use her. Logan! I saved him! Uh -huh. The dragon was like, and he was like, Aah! and then I was like, whoosh! <laughs> Duh. Yeah. There was a dragon. Looks different than the ones in Trollgate. Kind of disappointing. What do you mean you can't see him? Um, Logan says he can't see you. Can you see him or Mandana? They look like ghosts. Huh. Right. Okay. Well, we don't know what's going on, but we'll figure this out. Promise. He's quitting catch a glimpse of Mandana's face like inside the ghost of Florida. You know, like he's keeps looking at it. He can only assume the spirit belongs to Logan. Alright, anything new? Don't bother. Um, look. Fine, fine. I'll tell him to quit it. Logan says to stop, but it's not like he's gonna know either way. So, do whatever you want. It's always worked for me. That's funny. So can we like talk to Mandy for us? Let's go upstairs. Um, a big dragon is in that direction. Okay, I'll go this way anyway. Come on, Logan. He's going downstairs. What's up with the pot? Right? Ah! Wow. Am I back? Yes. It appears you are. KK says you... What? Touch the pot? The pot? There's nothing remarkable about it. Sure is shiny, though. Oh, neat. You're back. Quick! Touch the teapot again! <laughs> Logan's scream is hysterical! <laughs> Alright, so we can go back and forth using And that. you're back. Alright, we gotta go talk to Kevin. Let's hope he's awake. Hey again. Kevin is maybe later. Yeah. Hey. It's touching a prop on my back. What do you think it is? I have no idea. KK doesn't either. But if I were you, I'd just be glad it worked. Touching that pot brought you back. What would happen if you touched it again? We'll be here if you need. Yes. 
Mages of old would often use mirrors and reflective surfaces to aid in transferring dimensions. That, that appears to be the case here. Whomever created the banana tree ritual also created an alternate route home. Quite sensible. Yes. Oh, wait, what's yes. The next? Everything depends on Kevin Huang. We need. Yes. Do we need to, like, get him from the ghost world? Let's go back to the ghost world and see if we can go to the prison. That's how we go back and forth. What does that do for us? Um, a big... You can't touch stuff. Um, a big dragon. Maybe it's the same thing. I don't know. Being dead is weird sometimes. Hmm. Maybe it's because Logan can only see ghosts and you're not a ghost. I'm not a Guess ghost. Guess that proves you're not actually dead. Why are you sorry? You didn't kill him. Not really. And I'm with Logan now. So that's lucky. Lucky for him, I mean. He'd be totally lost without me. Hmm. So, touching shiny stuff makes you shift between the physical world and the spiritual world? Good to know. Okay. Small empty ceramic base. But we can't go upstairs. Um, a, we can't um, go a back in there. Logan, he and is it just where's something else shiny? Is there something shiny in the prison we can maybe sneak around? That guard is totally freaking out. Really, Logan? You look tired. Could you try not to piss off the cop? How about you and Mondana just wait outside? We'll take it from here. Dude, we'll be fine. Dude. I'll take care of him. Don't worry. Come on, come down, I mean, right I take away. care of you, don't I? Logan's such a baby. I don't know what he'd do without me. It's fuzzy and stink. There's blood in my head. Really she anything. can't hear or see. Yeah, I just wanted to mess with her though. Maybe do the secure door. Leads you to the prison. All right, let's let's go through. Whoa! It's jailbreak time. Just like in Jail of the Govanites. The Trollgate quest where the hmm. Govanites are held prisoner in the Whittakin mine? Nope. <sighs> Never mind. Missed that one. You're not like Logan at all. He'd be blushing like crazy right now. Who is it? She can't hear you. Hmm. 
Take something inside. Forget again. I'm gonna save it. I don't know what happens if we are gonna if we jump out. We're gonna scare the crap out of this cop. Um, maybe you shouldn't do that. Freaking out that police officer probably isn't a good idea. Gotta get rid of that cop somehow. This is when Logan usually tells me to close my eyes. I don't do it, but still. A pair of blue trousers hangs on the bench. You forgot again, didn't ya? That guy can't hear you. Fine, Kevin. We're trying to do stuff we don't even know what we're doing yet. We're just trying to piece it together. Let's get a response today. Let's go check that out. Finish the job? You know what? Go right ahead. My life is over anyway. I don't even care anymore. Yeah, you do. Why should Where I believe anything you say? The damage is done. I can't sleep. The dragon haunts my dreams. It screams! And won't leave me alone. Not now. Not ever. The dragon is hungry and hurting. Dragon needs your help. The dragon wants to be sent home. I know that. You think I don't know that? But I can't do anything. Not from in here. So let's break you out. That's why I'm here to set you free. You Galvanize. mean the prison break quest from Trollgate? Are you <laughs> serious? You're serious, aren't you? You put me in here, and now you want to break me out? 
really, that wasn't really me, I was possessed. Possessed? I'm not sure I understand. Really, dude, but you summoned a banana ghost. Maybe I don't need to. Look, if you can get me out of here, help me send the dragon back home, end these nightmares, then fine. Do whatever you have to. Is there a key to the cell anywhere? The guard down the hall has a key to the cell. He's opened it a few times. But I couldn't tell you how to get it away from him. Right, My grandfather drink. always said that the dragon was our family's blessing. It would help us through hard times if we needed it. We could call upon it once every decade or so. Any more than that, if we were greedy, it would become a curse. But we were never greedy. We did everything we were supposed to. The dragon never cursed us. No. We were cursed by you. Oh, Leland, oh he's an asshole. Whatever you do to him, he'll have it coming. Believe me. For it's worth, I didn't kill your family. Someone else did. <sighs> I saw you. You shot them like it was nothing. Then you looked right at me. Those eyes. They're the last thing I remember before everything went fuzzy. I honestly don't know what to believe. But your eyes, they aren't the same. So I'm going to trust you. For now. My yeah. Cold. Cruel. Kind of distant. You looked at me like I was nothing. I've been trying to forget about it. I disappear again. I need to call the guard over to yourself. You mean, distract him? Sure, I can do that. I mean, I think I can. The guy doesn't need much of an excuse to be an asshole to me. I might as well give him one. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. It's about time. Let's go. If it's too hot in there, maybe try sleeping without the blanket. No, that's not what I meant. I, I mean it's too cold. You know what, kid? I'm done. <laughs> you can freeze or sweat or both. It's not my problem. I'll take those keys from you. Okay, now we're gonna have to get disguised, though. Jesus, don't talk. That's it. Quick. That's it. You did it. So what now? Uh, we gotta sneak um, out. No, I can't disappear like you can. Look at what I'm wearing. I can't just walk out of here dressed like this. Can you get me some new clothes? Anything will work. Anything but this ugly orange prison uniform. Uh, Leland? He's bigger than I am. I'd look like a clown. I need really? something smaller. I'm not going anywhere. Right. bad in here? I bet it smells really bad in here. Uh-huh. Uh, 
stuff that's ragged in the sink. Yeah, I just got off shift. Ah, uh, oh, gross! Oh, I am not getting blamed for this. So he just leaves. Alright, we got the uniform trousers. Since old boy's gone, I can just sneak in and then we can just walk right over there. We gotta grease it. It's rusty. It's a bit small, but it should do fine. Jesus Thanks. Christ. Still Definitely. need to do something about these pads, though. No, we don't. Okay, those are kind of my size. That should work. Okay, you got me a full uniform, but I need a cap to go with it. Can you find one? It'll go a long way in covering my face. No, 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 take his hat. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. I think that's Is everything I need. Like Could you, um, turn around for a sec? Oh my god. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Here I go. And, um, thanks. I guess. You too, Randy? Yeah. Took it right off the bench. I was only gone for a few minutes. They took it right out of my locker. Who the hell does that? You sure nothing of yours is missing, son? Not that I know of. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Go. I don't know how we're going to leave. Um, maybe freaking out that police officer. like the power is wearing off. Oh well, it's been fun. Yeah, See ya when you die. Game. Ah! Jesus, KK. Don't do that. Uh, Everything go okay in there? Yep, KK had my back. Good one cop, so close to two more. Yeah, she always does. Anyway, Mondana went with Kevin to the restaurant. We should meet him there. Right. Let's go and tell KK. Yeah, and tell KK. I... She, uh, just stuck her tongue out at you. Anyway, right behind you. Yeah, this is the restaurant. Good. You have returned. So, is the dragon gone? Um, not yet. I was hoping you could come with me. I don't want to face it alone. Sure, we'll face Thank it. Thank you. 
In my dreams, the dragon is so angry. In all my dad's stories, it was never angry. I'm scared. Anyway, I'll meet you on the roof. You should need the ribbon in the Z first? No, that's only to summon it. To send it away, I just need to be near the tree. On the roof. Good thing, too. That tea is disgusting. Anyway, I'll meet you up there. Kevin? Something wrong? What happens... after? Do I go back to jail? Go on the run? That will not happen. We will put a veil on you. It disguises your identity. You will be safe. Oh, that's good, I guess. I mean, so we're basically on the run. Kevin? Yeah. Sorry, I was just remembering. My mom was always making me study cookbooks, making me memorize old family recipes, and my dad would drill me in the kitchen. You always hate that stuff as a kid, but right now, I miss it more than anything. Kevin Wong, you have come at last. Yeah, well, I've barely slept for months thanks to you. And I have not eaten. I wish to go home. Yeah, home. I am waiting. Kevin Huang, fulfill your family duty. Not yet. I want something. Another winning lottery number. Dude, come on. You overstep yourself, Kevin Huang. And none of the usual five-figure stuff either. I'm talking the Mega Million Jackpot. Wow. No, I haven't pushed nearly enough. We possess your original lottery ticket, Kevin. Your winning lottery ticket. It's not enough. It's not nearly enough. $50,000 is plenty. Yeah. yeah, man. That's more than enough to start a new life. I don't want a new life. This restaurant belongs to my family. It should stay in my family. The bank repossessed this place. I need to buy it back before someone else does. 50000 won't cut it. Do this for me, dragon. Do this, and I will burn the banana tree. Nobody will ever summon you again. Can you do it, Dragon? Can I? Yes. Will I? No. The effort involved. The mental strain. It might kill me. It might, but might not. Please, Kevin Huang. Let me go! You gotta find another way, Kevin. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing ethical advice from the person who murdered my family? That was You're me. the one who took it all away. You can help me get it back. You owe this to me. Ah, uh, we've been over this. I didn't kill your family. <laughs> Why is restaurant so important? Doesn't matter. It still happened. They're still dead. I'm still accused of killing them. Yeah, you can't blame You either. said the unavowed helps people. So maybe help me now and back me up on this? Why is Richard so important? Because it's been in my family for four generations. It stood for almost a century. I'm not gonna let that end. Not while I can still do something about it. So how about it, Dragon? Give me a winning set of numbers and I'll send you home. Forever. What? Join you guys? You have experienced the supernatural. You seek a new purpose. It is an ideal match for you. Yes. And I'd have to work with him? The one who shot my parents? He did not. Yeah, yeah, I know. Possession. But I'd still have to look at him all day. Every day. I don't think I could do that. I'm sorry. For what it's worth, he shot my brother. I was able to <laughs> forgive him. Well, you're a better person than me. And how are you going to do that? It's not like you can stop me. Only I have the power to send the dragon back. And only we have the power to bail you. Wait, what? You should just let the cops throw me back in jail? You can't! That's not right! I didn't do anything! Not yet, you haven't. Please, please! Some corporate chain is gonna buy this place. They'll destroy it! Turn it into a plastic boutique or a condo! 
My family would have died for nothing. You can't let that happen. Please, don't do this. I have centuries of artifacts of my father's life at home. I would fight tooth and nail to keep them safe. Can I fault Kevin for doing the same? I know his pain all too well. It is an ethical dilemma for certain. Regardless, I will support whatever choice you wow, make. I thought she'd be like, let the dragon go. I think the Huang family's been relying on this magic dragon for long enough. Whichever way this goes, that needs to end. Let go. Okay. Okay. Kevin Huang? I am still waiting. You can go. I release you. Thank you. I... I'm sorry. I had to try. You understand? Your mom and dad. I understand. I recently lost a father too. But this is not the way. Yeah, you're right. I get that. I always did like this view. I thought I'd be looking at it forever. Hmm. Okay, I'm ready. Dragon Savior. Alright. That is a perfect place to stop, guys. Drop a like if you haven't already. Drop a sub if you're new. I'm out!